China is conquering nations across the South Pacific. It is building huge infrastructure projects in Fiji, Papua New Guinea, Vanuatu, and the Solomon Islands. It's also lending these nations huge sums of money. The Chinese government knows that these nations are too poor to pay the money back, but it lends anyway because it wants these nations in its debt. When these nations inevitably default on these loans, the Chinese government will be able to seize the infrastructure projects it has built as collateral and possibly even turn them to military use. This strategy is known as debt trap diplomacy. Fiji, Papua New Guinea, Vanuatu, and the Solomon Islands all sit along some of the most vital sea lanes and trade routes in the world. If China is able to militarize these sea lanes, it will be able to isolate Australia and become master of the South Pacific. Both history and Bible prophecy show why this is extremely dangerous. Fiji, Papua New Guinea, Vanuatu, and the Solomon Islands were all once part of the British Empire. During World War II, the Japanese Empire invaded both Papua New Guinea and the Solomon Islands. And some of the bloodiest battles of the last century were fought over coral atolls and volcanic outcrops in the Solomon Islands. The Japanese sought to conquer these specks on the map because they were located along the main trade arteries between Asia and Australia. Now China is attempting to succeed where Japan failed by using debt trap diplomacy instead of kamikaze fighters. If it can leverage its economic ties into airfields and naval bases, it will have Australia almost completely surrounded. Three of Australia's five main trade routes pass by nations being economically colonized by China. Australia's trade with the US passes by Fiji. Australia's trade with Japan passes by the Solomon Islands. And Australia's trade with Europe passes by Papua New Guinea. A 2016 defense white paper makes Australia's predicament clear. Australia cannot be secure if their immediate neighborhood including Papua New Guinea and Pacific Island countries, becomes a source of threat. This includes the threat of a foreign military power like China seeking influences in ways that would challenge the security of their maritime trade routes. By conquering South Pacific nations, China is preparing to economically besiege Australia. At one time, the English-speaking nations controlled almost every maritime choke point and sea gate on the planet. How did these nations come to dominate world trade to such an extent? In his book, The United States and Britain in Prophecy, Herbert W. Armstrong explained that it all began with a promise made to the patriarch Abraham. God promised to give Abraham's descendants control over the gates of their enemies. A gate is a narrow passage of entrance or exit. And when speaking nationally, a sea gate is a narrow choke point like the Torres Strait. God gave Britain and America these commercial gates, ensuring that they would become economic and military superpowers. But God also warned that if America and Britain did not obey him, then not only would these sea gates be taken away, but they would be used against them. The fact that China is making inroads into territories once used by America and Britain to win World War II shows just how close this prophecy is to being fulfilled. To learn more about China's strategy to control world trade, read, China is steering the world towards war by Gerald Flurry.